Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about how to export your tracks as audio files. This actually came in as a request from a few friends of mine that are new to recording and they're trying to, well, especially um, my singer friends, they're trying to record their vocals and just send individual audio files to either a producer or another friend that they're collaborating with. So I want to show you how to do that. Really simple. The first thing we're going to do, we're in our session in Logic, is we're going to grab from the top, okay, from zero, and we're going to highlight all the way to where the ending point is, and, and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to grab it, and just visually, this is what it looks like it should be for me, right? And I'm going to send these audio files, not this instrumental. Now, the reason you want to start from zero, even though the audio file doesn't start till here, right here, and then it doesn't start till here, right here, is you want everything to line up from zero, when they pull it into their session on the receiving end. So if you bounce from here, that's gonna be the new zero. If you bounce from here, it's gonna be the new zero, right? So the tracks are gonna pull in all and even, they're not gonna line up on the other person's end. So that's a common misconception uh, among people that are starting that they should bounce from where they visually see the track. So no, 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 we're gonna bounce from zero guys, okay? And then we're gonna drag all the way to the end of where the files are. Now, make sure that you if you have like, for example, let's say we were, we were bouncing this track. Let's just say that we were going to send this track too. You want to listen and because visually it can be a bit deceiving. It might look like the track ends right here or right here, but you know, oftentimes there's like a reverb uh, tail that's going on or a delay that's still happening after the, the audio file stops. And you want to make sure that you don't cut that off. In this case, my tracks I'm sending are dry, so I don't have to worry about it here. But if this was like, you know, if I was sending like electric guitars or anything else where the effects were actually printed, I'd want to make sure that I just double check so I didn't clip those off, right? So let's have a listen to the track. Oh, and you can see that it ends actually right, right around there. Um, in this case, like I said, I'm just sending the audio files for the vocals, but um, I think you understand what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift, and then we're gonna click, and that highlights all the tracks that we wanna send, right? So we're gonna, you can do this one of two ways. You can go file, export, six tracks as audio files, right? Because that's what we have highlighted. Or I can just go command E, the same thing it's going to bring me to the same window and then I want to be very intentional I don't want to just go bounce first of all it's multiple files so I definitely want to create a folder and second of all I want to know where that is so I'm going to start I want it on my desktop so I'm going to go desktop and then I'm going to go new folder and I'm going to say vocals right export cycle range only that means it's grabbing this yellow part up here which we've already cycled out so we know we want to do that wave and 24 bit is great let's leave that alone and then we're going to go ahead and have bypass effect plugins selected so let's talk about that for a second let's say that you're a singer and you're tracking and you want to hear your reverb and your delay and like maybe you put some compression and eq and you put a bunch of stuff on your channel strip that your producer most likely doesn't want unless you guys have discussed ahead of times that you're um that you're going to send him uh vocals with effects but let's just say you're sending drums vocals you don't have to pull all the stuff on the strip off you can just bypass any of the effect plugins that were on the strip <clears throat> excuse me so let's talk about the other side of that let's say that you're an electric guitar player and you are sending electric guitar parts and you have just put a bunch of stuff on your channel strip and you haven't committed the strip yet so I mean it still has the plugins on it and you have a pedal board and you have an amp and you've got a delay and you've got a bunch of stuff going on that if you bypass effect plugins they're going to get a dry electric guitar and they're not going to want that because what you've done is now the final sound of that electric guitar so just keep in mind when and when you're not uh, when and when you're not going to use the bypass effect plugins. Um, singers, most of the time you're going to go ahead and use this, especially if you're delivering to um, a DJ or a producer that just wants your dry, untreated files. You can also uh, select include volume in pan automation if you want to make sure that you know they come through with what you intended. If you automated the vocal or panned it, um, in this case I did not, so I'm just going to leave it alone. And then make sure that normalize is off. Normalize is basically saying to pull everything to zero and I'm assuming that we have gain staged properly and that we've set our levels where we want them. So let's just keep that off and then we can go ahead and click export. Now that we've done that, all of our files should be right here on the desktop. And if you want to go one step further for making it easier to send your files, you can go ahead and just right click this and go compress vocals. And that's going to put it into a smaller file size. And that's going to make it a lot easier to send on, say, a platform like Sound Better or WeTransfer. So I hope that was helpful, you guys. I just want to do a really quick video on how to export your files as audio files. And if there's anything else that you'd like to learn in Logic Pro X, please don't hesitate to let me know. Drop me a comment. Reach out to me. Let me know what you're struggling with and that what you'd like me to clarify, you guys. My 
goal is to demystify and simplify the process and just simply make it fun. So make sure to hit that bell and hit subscribe if you like what you saw, and I will see you soon. Do it like a, like a, like a boss. Like a, like a boss. Do it like a, like a, like a boss.